Hey guys, I wanted to post a video about the algae growth on this clear water scrubber CW50. Uh, I had a request for that and I've been meaning to put something up uh, showing how much algae this thing will actually grow. So I'm going to flip the camera around and I'm going to show you what we've got. And uh, I think it's been, I've cleaned it once or, you know, harvested algae one time and I think I had, um, I don't know, it was probably, it was fully covered, but that's been at least probably three weeks ago. So let's see what we got now. All right, so I'm gonna take the little top off. I've already disconnected the pump, so I don't have, we don't have any water flowing. So we'll loosen up this little nut here. There we go, and then we'll pull the screen out and we'll just kind of see what we got growing here. Yeah, you can see it's completely covered. Yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out of here. All right, so my camera work might be a little shoddy here for a second guys Ugh. but let's uh let's get this in here and we'll look at what we have all right so check it out there's a lot of algae front and back all right so let's check this out. We'll scrape this off. So I'm not gonna scrape it all off. I'm not gonna get it all, I'm gonna leave some on here. And we'll, have, we'll see exactly how much we have left and how much we have on the plate. So we're gonna leave some on just to stay seated so it'll grow quicker. But you can see this is just one half. So let's see what we can get on this side. This is pretty nasty. But this is a lot of algae growth. Yeah, for all you non-aquarium watchers out there, this is not really the, the highlight probably of aquarium keeping. None of the maintenance. All right. Well, I'm probably gonna leave this on here just to kind of seed the next growth. Um, but man, check that out. That is a ton of algae. And this is the smallest unit that they make. So really cool. Anyway, guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video short and I'm going to go ahead and install this back and kind of get it running again. But, uh, you can kind of see, you know, how much algae this thing will actually grow. Uh, now I am running the, uh, 185 gallon an hour flow, <clears throat> uh, Sichet pump. I think it's the 0 0.05. And I found that that was a little bit too much, which I think on, uh, bulk reef supply they've updated the flow recommended flow on there maybe they saw my video i don't know <clears throat> but i know in the beginning i think it was up to 200 gallons <clears throat> 200 gallons an hour but uh, 200 gallons an hour is not uh, that's too much um i think if you kept your flow around 150 gallons somewhere between 100 and 150 gallons an hour you wouldn't have any issues with the installation that clear water scrubbers uh, recommends 
But if you go any higher than that, you're gonna have to change your uh, PVC. Instead of half inch, you're gonna have to use three quarter. So just to allow for a little bit more flow out the drain. Otherwise you'll have a lot of gurgling going on inside the scrubber. So anyway, and I've got some videos posted where you can see that uh, before and an after. Uh, the before is installed as recommended by Clearwater Scrubbers and you can hear it. You can hear the problems and then the after is with a few modifications that I made and you can definitely see the difference. But anyway, all right guys, well we'll talk to you later.